Hello, Kyle from Storm Pros. This is Joel from JNDSEO. Um, I spoke to your office earlier, so I'm going to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. And I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste mine, so I'm going to make this as quick as possible. If at the end of the video you want to hear more information, no problem. We'll just set up a quick phone call. If not, no big deal. I'm going to give you a bunch of free tips and strategies in here that you could actually apply right to your site. All right, so the th three things we're going to talk about are content, citations, and backlinks. So the first thing we'll talk about is um, content. So I'm on your homepage now. I'm just looking to see about how many words of content you have. Google recommends having about 1,500 to 2,000 words. The reason that they want so much is if you have that much content, they feel like you're giving something back um, online, and that's what they really want to see. And if you don't have that much content, a blog can actually function the same way, where essentially a blog is giving away free tips, strategies um, in it as well, or information that could help people. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to compare your site to Superior Roofing, who's one of the top ones in the area. And it's just good to like, try to show you kind of what you'd have to do in order to beat them, because um, they're they are the top results. So obviously, if you want to get to the top of the rankings, they're the ones that are standing up there. Um, and so just looking through, you can tell they also don't have anywhere near the 1,500 to 2,000 um, keywords. They do have a blog, however, which is going to help them um, some to make up for that. But the other reason that you do want so much content is that uh, the more content you have, the more keywords and keyword phrases you can put into it. So just as an example, I've put in uh, Roofing Columbus, Georgia here as a keyword. And this is also what new customers would be looking for when they do a search on Google. And they're, they're not going to know the company name, so they're going to put in something like this with a location. First thing they'd find would be these ads at the top of the page, which I know companies are paying for right now. And um, next up would be this map section. So the second thing we'll talk about is citations, and that's where these kind of come in. Top three companies are going to show up based only on citations in this map section, this preview window. You could view all to see the rest. Um, and citation is when you get your business name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site. So these are sites you all know, like uh, Home Advisor, Yellow Pages, um, Angie's List, uh, GAF. These are just a few. Also, even social media like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter. These all count as well. So if you have a page for your website that it's linked to, uh, let me just see. I think you did have some. Um, I thought I saw some. Oh, up here. Here we go. Facebook. You've got Yelp and LinkedIn as well as your email. So these actually function also as citations. As, just have to make sure that everything is exactly the same. So if this one was an LLC, for instance, if they didn't put that on one of them, it wouldn't it wouldn't link properly. So it has to all three of those pieces of information have to be linked exactly. After that, we're going to get into the organic section. You're going to get 10 results per page showing up here. And what we see right off the bat is for our search roof in Columbus, Georgia in the area, top three results, Better Business Bureau, Home Advisor, and Yelp are all uh, directories. And those are actually easier to beat. A lot of people think they're hard to beat, but they're actually easy because Google prefers that a local business is at the top of the rankings opposed to directory sites. So next up, I took your web address, um, wearestormpros.com, plugged it into a program I use called Arifs. And we're going to get to our third tip here, which is going to be backlinks. And we're also going to talk about referring domains because they're really linked together. So referring domains are just websites that you have links on. When people click those links, it's going to redirect them back to your site. So we are Storm Pros. Sometimes these aren't just like your typical um, you know, hyperlink. They could be a picture that someone clicks. It could be a button. And basically, the, the links are your backlinks. So you have 114 links on the 67 pages, so almost two per page there. And these also function as kind of these sites vouching for you. The more sites you have vouching for you in the referring domains, the more um, Google's going to give you trust in the area, which is your UR number. So the 26 is pretty good. And that's going to make your site stronger. And it's going to allow you to um, find, they're going to find more keywords on your site by having that. So right now you do have the 85 keywords. And that's bringing you these visitors, which is about 11 per month right now. So we're actually going to click these, but before I look at yours, I'm going to run over to Superior Roofing. We can see they don't have any headers at the top of their page. You guys do. Um, they'd be in bold above the web address if they did. But they do have uh, more. They have some more backlinks anyway. 
referring to main 62 with the 215 backlinks. And their, their, their trust is actually a 21 here. Um, they do have 703 keywords. They've got more keywords than what you guys currently have. And they're getting more visitors with the 106. So we'll actually click both. And then I'm going to go back to your site here. And let's see what you guys have for keywords currently. So you've got Storm Pros, which is your name. So what this means is that people that search you by name know who you are. It's going to be some of your referrals. 30 people right now search Storm Pros. You guys are in the top position. There's 10 results per page. So being number one, obviously, is the best you could do. It's going to give you the biggest percentage of the volume. So we can see number one typically gives about 20 to 35%. So you guys right now are getting nine from the 30. So you're getting about, you know, 33%, give or take. Uh, probably around like the 30 to 30, 32% there uh, with the nine. So then you also want to bring in new customers. So Roofers, Columbus, Georgia, that's going to be a good one. 100 people search that exactly like that. You guys for this one are 18. Um, what we found, unfortunately, though, is that 18 is going to put you at, towards the bottom of the second page. 80 to 85 percent of people won't go to page two, so that's why the 18 is giving you less than one visitor per month of the hundred. So you're averaging less than half there. Uh, so we've really got to get you higher up. You're ranking number one for your name, which is good, but we got to get you ranking higher for some of the ones that bring in the new customers. And if we just quickly jump over to Superior Roofing, the first one, Roofing Columbus, Georgia. 200 search it they're number four so they're getting about 17 of the 200 from being number four um, the higher up again the better so then they have their name here you can see their number one is getting them 13 out of 40 but again it's their name so people know who they are they want to bring in more new customers roofers columbus georgia here out of the hundred they're number six so they're getting six percent so they're getting six of those 100 all right so getting you know getting three to four more keywords getting them ranked in those top three should bring in about 100 visitors to your site that actually comes out to being probably anywhere between 20 and 30 calls to your actual phone number you know so out of those 20 to 30 calls let's just call it 20 for some easy math you know it might turn into about 10 or or even less estimates it should turn out to be a couple extra jobs per month probably two to three depending on what your conversion ratios are per month and that's just the first hundred, you know, and obviously the goal is to build on that and add more as you go. Um, you know, so now that you have the information, there's really three things you can do with it. Number one, if you're not looking to grow your business or build, build it up and get more customers, obviously you don't have to do anything. If you're, you know, you're look, you are looking to build your business and grow, you might have someone you already use. If you do show them this, maybe some of the tips will help. If not, um, you know, then obviously I do provide all these services. So it would just be a phone call. And, you know, we could talk and see what maybe you want to do and see if it would even be a good fit. But thank you for your time. Really appreciate it and have a great day.